Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at IOBit Smart Defrag version 2.6, although this should apply to prior versions and quite a few versions down the road because the changes are typically pretty minor. Why do you want to defragment your hard drive? Windows already has a defragmentation utility. This is all true, but it's not that good. There's a whole bunch of companies out here, four or five that I can think of that make excellent defragmentation utilities, and IOBit is one of the better ones. You just want to optimize the best you can as you know or maybe you don't know. The hard drive has the most moving parts on your computer. It's going to break more often than anything else. And I see computers all the time with years, yes, years worth of pictures, videos, music, and it's not backed up. You want to protect your hard drive. You want to make sure if it dies, you're looking at 50 bucks minimum for a hard drive. Um, more than likely, you have your operating system on a separate partition on your hard drive. If your drive fails, there goes your operating system. Now you're $150 to pick up a new operating system, and that's assuming you can fix it yourself. And then you're paying somebody a couple hours of work to fix it for you. I mean, you're talking about a hard drive disaster. It could cost you a couple hundred dollars minimum. By defragmenting your drive, keeping everything running smooth, your computer's going to run faster. Your drive's going to stay in better shape. This is something you probably want on your computer. Basically, in order to use it, as you can see, you have these little cute little colored blocks on here. Down here is your map, or sometimes it's called a legend. All this is free space, as you can see, by the gray color. And the rarely used, frequently used directories, master file table, files that can't be moved. We'll get to that in a second. Fragmented files, that's what's important. And, of course, files that are moving when you see it. There's a bunch of different ways to run this program. Um, you could go over here into the settings and play around with it. There's a lot of different stuff you can do in here. Uh, user interface, exclude list, stuff like that. But rather than mess around with all these tabs, which is just not quite as friendly to, you know, the more average computer user, you got nice little tabs right here. As you can see, the drives are selected. Here's the state of my drive. Here's the automatic defrag. It is not activated. You can turn it on, and of course, you can configure it. I like to leave it off. I just think that defragmenting your hard drive constantly is probably a little overkill. You have your boot time defrag. This you want to do. As you can see, I have it turned on. The reason being is, let's go back to the state of your drive. You see all these black little squares right here? As I mentioned, those are unmovable. What does that mean? It probably means that they're system files. They're in use. You can't move them. So if you think about it this way, you're going to defragment all the red, the yellow, the blue. But look at half of them, at least in my case. Your computer is probably less can't be moved. See, they're all over the place here. So what you want to do is with the boot time defragment, it'll allow your computer when it restarts to defragment the drive when it reboots and when it can move those files. If you take all your files and you put them all in one neat little spot in the corner, it's faster for your computer to search for, find, and open the file that you're after. That's how it speeds things up. It works great. You have your report tab. You're probably hardly ever going to use it. But once again, you can see right up here, you have your options that you can click through here or here. I like these. They're right here. They're in your face. You don't have to go into the kind of, I don't know, you know, uglier looking little settings tab. Um, so I would shut off your automatic defrag. Make sure your boot time defrag is on. As you can see, I pretty much have everything checked. I ran it this morning, and it's as simple as that. If you want to do the automatic defrag, you can turn it on. Go to your Configure tab. What you want to do is, I would personally uncheck this. These are checked, I think, by default if memory serves. Uncheck those and come down here to your Schedule Defragmenter and turn it on. Now that it's on, do your full optimization. Hit your Configuration. And let's go once a month. Every week's okay. You can do every week if you want. I like every month. That way, what you're doing is you're doing your basic defrag every month, okay, without having to do anything. And, of course, you're going to hit yourself and get in your boot time defrag, and you're going to hit that every few weeks or so. Now, there's a couple of good defragmentations. So keep your drive in good shape. Let your computer find what it needs to find quickly. I think you're going to dig it. The best part about it is, as I mentioned, it could cost you a couple hundred dollars to replace that, that bad drive in a worst-case scenario. This tool is free. Take care of your drive. Check it out. I think you'll dig it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.